Hi everybody, so I am back again. Just wanted to do another planner type of tutorial. These are dividers for another planner. Um, I didn't record myself the first time I did the dividers in my Webster's pages, which I'm going to show you in a second. So I have this Color Crush Webster's pages um, from Joann's. And I had made, let's see, I made all of these with the tabs. Okay, and that was using a recent um, paper pad that I had gotten from Michaels and um, it was super easy because I did want it double sided and all you use is one piece of paper you fold it over you got to use paper that is white on the back in order to get the tab otherwise you would have to do a separate tab so and then it's still um, that particular paper wasn't that thick so it worked out fine um, but now I need to do my inserts in my home planner with my important home planner, which is for bill paying. Um, I have been using these dividers from Target, and let me double check here because... Alright, so, because I don't want you to see things that you shouldn't be seeing, but as you can see when I was redoing this, I, I did this really fast because I have switched from the three ring Target binder to this and I just redid holes quickly you know to get it all in here and I haven't and this has been over a year I think since I've been using um, an A5 planner so I need to redo those and I'm also going to be re-taping my sheets that I have stuff written down there because all the holes look bad <laughs> so I'm going to be doing some new ones using this paper pad that I had gotten last year, meant to be fab from Hobby Lobby. And I think, I don't know, maybe it's the same thickness as the one from um, Michaels. But either way, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to be cutting down whatever width I need, folding it over. As you can see, it's single sided, and you fold it over, and then you have this white tab here, which you just cut out your tabs. And I'm going to use the old dividers that I already have and, you know, draw out what I got to cut and then laminate. So this is the pad I'm using and I completely forgot that it has flamingos and things and pineapples. So I'm going to see what else I can do for my planner um, with these things because I am doing summer theme. Or I just got to remember to leave it out because I'm also in a tropical loaded pocket swap in the Facebook group Crafters with Otter Toot. I haven't been uh, partnered yet, but we'll see, you know, what kind of tropical we're going to do, whether it's pastels or regular tropical, but I don't know. Um, anyway, these are the papers that I've picked. You do need like a whole sheet per, you know, and you're going to be cutting off whatever, but I picked, what I did was I pulled out a sheet that I like right there. And I staggered the next one there and there. So that's kind of, and I need five, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Even though I'm missing one tab that I guess I didn't need. It should have been six, but I only need five for this planner. So, okay. Now I'm going to see if I could use these because I still have this pack. Came in here of the single sided self sealing laminated sheets. These I found at Target. And you do need two at a time. So even though this comes with 10, you're only going to get five uses out of this. Um, and I'm not even sure if I can insert two tap, two um, dividers at a time because there's a section here that I don't know if you use or not, but might not be able to do two at a time. But I'm going to see if I could use it up. Um, I do have my laminating machine turned on in the back. And for that, I gotta use this. So the machine and this were gifted to me by Crafty Irina. So thank you so much, Irene. Um, I have been using this, you know, a lot, and it makes it so much easier. But I want to see if I could try to use these up and get them out of the way. Otherwise, I'll just, you know, use that. And the machine in the back is heating up. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do this. I got. I do have a cutter. You don't need one, but I do have one, so got this guy. And that is probably my husband. It's, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so you're going to take 
Now, if you don't have one, then you're just going to have to figure it out using maybe just your inserts. Say, okay. And most likely, if you have one of these planners, you're going to have something to go by. So you could take your sheets, you know, whatever, and use that too, because these are the same size. You're going to use, well, for whatever planner you have, you can do the same method. And you can see how many times I've made these holes. So I want to tape that up or put in some new inserts. But if you do that, then you're going to have to draw out your own little tabs, however many you need. But if you already have some that you just want to change up, then yeah just go ahead and use them um, again any size because this is the same method that I used for my personal size and then this size is considered an A5 okay and it could be any brand too that's Prima I could totally use these the same size in my Webster's pages um, and I also have the uh, recollections A5 as well all right so I most likely can cut all these at the same time. Now you have to take into consideration when you laminate, you're going to get a little extra on the outside of your whole perimeter for the seal because you don't want to cut all the way to the edge. It doesn't always seal to the edge. So what we're going to do is get a pencil. Hopefully I'm in frame because lately I have not been doing very well staying in frame. And you're going to mark... Um, and I don't care if it's going to be slightly bigger with that little extra edge that I'm going to get. You're going to mark the width and I'm just going to cut everything all in one shot. Well, no, I can't now with this cutter. I might have to do two at a time. Let's just do a couple at a time because this is kind of thick. Okay, so just get them together and then cut them you know more than one at a time however many you can cut through your your cutter or use a straight blade I mean a straight edge like a metal ruler and then use one of those rollers or a craft knife so and then save this of course for some other projects now I'm going to mark the other ones and do the same thing where did I put my pencil so they're just all going to be the same I'm going to try three this time since that's what's left and I remember with this cutter here that the blade actually cuts to the left of the wire what am I doing here so not you don't want to mark right on the line there we go so I can cut three at a time I guess all right so I wonder if this is the same size as my little micro because that would be a cute little yeah I'm getting distracted here all right so we have the width which is you know the up and down part and now what I'm gonna do is one at a time I am going to how did I do this last time I forgot you know I should these on. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn it backwards or inside out. I guess that would be put it to my edge here on the left side. Mark. Whoops. Get, get a grip. Mark the right side, and I'm going to fold it right there right there and you can also just fold it you know in your hands and fold it to where you know or make a mark there which i probably should have just done on the outside It'd be easier and i can just erase that <laughs> now we're going to fold it on that little mark we made and we're going to crease it really nicely you want it to be as flat as possible All right, and if you want to just erase that mark. Now what's cool about this is after you've laminated this, if you do not seal this part here, 
what you could do is cut where you sealed with the lamination all the way to the edge and then this will open up a pocket for you to use um, that would be really cool so now you see I have this big part here so we're gonna take our divider once again and you're gonna trace I need to move this a little more you're going to butt it up against the edge there and you're going to trace that tab okay you're going to trace that tab you're going to cut here and here and then just with scissors cut there or you can do with scissors the whole thing which i probably just could do that and just follow this line here and then you're going to do this step with all your tabs however many you need What I'm going to do is just, I'm having a shaky hand lately, so I'm just going to try to, oops, I'm trying to cut it straight lines first, and here, and around that little corner, if I can get a grip, because I do want that little turn there, and this way. Okay, and again, if you see any pencil mark, just erase. So now I have myself a little tab. Looks like a folder, but it's not going to be that because you're going to laminate this shut. Now, do that to all your pages. And before you run it through the laminator, you're going to write in or type out however you want to put your titles. You want to do that first. And then you're going to run it through. So I'm going to go ahead and make all these up first. And then I'll be back. Alright everybody. So now I have all of them folded and cut. And as you can see I have all my tabs. And again this used to be a six tab um, collection <laughs> from Target. But one of them I didn't need. So now you can glue these down but if you're going to be sealing it it doesn't need to be you can corner cut corner chomp your corners if you'd like i'm just going to leave them like that but before i start i want to write in what these tabs are so i'm going to be using my paper mate flare black pen and right in just you know neatly but I'm not that neat anyway but it doesn't matter because this is mine um, and I'm just gonna write what I had in before so this section was like notes section it was just filled with line paper and um, you know I'll write notes related to my home family anything that I need to remember lists or whatnot so that's pretty much it and I'm going to continue doing that and then we're going to laminate. Okay, so here we go. This one's going to be the hard part. Um, I think these sheets are sticky. So it's going to make it harder to use. But we're going to try it. I do have more than one of each of these sheets. So I can redo it if I have to. So let's just see here. It tells you one. Take off the little thing that's back here okay take this off and place the front side of the object up on a flat surface okay so this only laminates one side if you only use one so yeah it's sticky so it makes it a lot harder to use <laughs> for me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up as far as I can go because I need to fit two of these on one. So what I'm going to do is put it on the non-sticky side and just give it a lot of room. And then I'm going to try to get these things like right about, yeah, this is not going to be easy. I think I'm going to be using the other laminating thing. 
I'm going to get this as close to my edge without pulling this off completely. Let's see here. Yeah. That is not giving me enough room to do more than one. Mm -mm. I thought I could fit. Oh, yeah. I do have that extra. Okay, never mind. I'm going to do this differently now. I'm going to start with this edge here, which you can barely see. And just stick it down. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it close to the edge. Hopefully that's enough for it to seal on the edge here. I'm going to take this off because it's driving me nuts. And rotate and put this turn it around. Oh yeah, there's plenty of room to do more than one. Just got to give enough room for the tabs. I know you can't see the edges because they're transparent. It's here. I have just enough to seal it. And now I gotta put the other piece on top. That's the part that's gonna be a nice kicker. <laughs> so we're gonna sandwich this piece. So I'm just gonna take off the one top part and carefully line my edge with the edge of the other one, which is hard to see. Okay. I don't even know how many I'm gonna get out of what's left here because it's two per thing okay so I'm gonna use this guy to make sure it's down and now I'm gonna peel away slowly at the same time I'm gonna use this to not get any air air bubbles because that's the one thing I didn't like about these self-sealing things here I always got air bubbles no matter what even doing this I ended up still getting air bubbles so we're just slowly peeling back and because this sticks to the paper itself it's not like the laminating stuff I think just seals to itself Carefully. Especially these little edges here. I'll get that a little bit later too. Okay, and then just keep peeling away. So how many do I have left? I got one, two... I can actually do all of this with these self-laminating sheets. So when I'm done, I'm going to see how they look. And then cut just the one here and then I'm going to do the rest off camera. And then I'll continue. Well, at least one side doesn't have bubbles. I don't know about the other side. So we'll find out in a second. I'm going to use this one that's got a thinner edge. So now I'm just trying to make sure that I'm sealing all my edges. As close as possible. I might not need my laminating machine today. I think we're good. And then in here. You actually can seal this even closer to the uh, edge of your papers with this type of laminating only because it's sticky. So that's like one of the good things about that. But it's more expensive. You have to use two at a time. All right, let's go to the back. Oh, yay, no bubbles. So no bubbles back there. Sweet. I'm just going to do this one more time, but just a little quicker. Just so I know we're good. 
Now it does feel different than the other one, than the one that you use your laminating machine. It's more plasticky. It it folds better here. Like if you were to use this for your um, traveler's notebooks, that'd be great to make your inserts when you need them to fold like that. So that would be a good thing because look at how easy that folds without me having to crease it. All right, so let's just go ahead and cut this up. I'm glad I didn't get any air bubbles because in the past, you see here, you can kind of, I don't know if you could see it. There's air bubbles there, and that's how I used to get on the paper when I used to use this stuff. So, that wasn't cool. Let me just trim away from my edge because there's still a bit of a gap of air in here. And I'm just going to quickly cut this one and I'll come back and do a better job just so I can separate the two. So yeah, using these sheets takes a little longer. You got to be more careful. Take your time. It's more pliable and it's probably more costly too because again you got to use a couple at a time. But I had first bought this pack. I have only bought two in the past just because it was at the stores readily available and I didn't have a machine. So if you don't have a machine it's a great way just to start out see if you like it. Okay. So here's my first one. You see it's a little flimsier compared to when you're using the um, machine. Alright, so I'm not even going to bother cutting the other one. I'm going to go ahead and punch this. Now I do have the right size hole punch. This is from Recollections, I believe, that I found at Michael's. It's not adjustable. It's just for the one size for the A5. Um, but you can use your regular hole punch, just use your pre-existing inserts, line it up to this, and then use your hole punch. So I'm just going to slide this in here, get it in the middle, and punch. And sometimes it gets stuck because of the plastic. And I know because this has dots, you can't really see the holes, but you can see right there. And let's see if I can insert this and show you. I can't show you what's in here, so I'm going to open this up. I'm going to leave the old insert to block the addresses because I do have like an address book type of thing in here. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to put this one in, and it fits perfectly. I'm going to close this up, and now I can see I have a fresh new divider in here, and voila! So I am done. Well, I'm done with the one. I'm going to do the rest off camera. So you don't need to see me do all that. See? Easy. Um, and it works just fine. So thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye now.